Hello beautiful people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Uh, welcome back to the channel. We'll be doing three videos today. Uh, first, two videos gonna be fragrance reviews and I think they're gonna be both exclusive. I haven't seen any reviews on these fragrances. One's gonna be House of DKNY, Donna Karan. Other one's gonna be House of Gillette. Very surprising. It's a house that nobody talks about, but I didn't know they had fragrances. Uh, so anyway, we'll talk about it. Another thing, third episode, we're gonna be doing a morning thoughts episode but mostly on fragrance. I have six topics I would like to discuss. So first episode, uh, let's uh, discuss this fragrance, okay? Uh, House of Gillette, I was talking about Gillette. Uh, I saw this recently in one of the shops. I did not know Gillette produced uh, fragrances back in the time. Uh, anyway, sorry, we'll be talking about Gillette uh, Cool White, this flanker. Things discontinued at this point. Uh, it's, uh, I think, 100 ml, yeah, 100 ml, EDT concentration. We'll be talking about this one, uh, but mostly, back in the years like when i was a student i used to use gillette uh body sprays uh sort of like their this ones you know like i don't use i don't shave no more <laughs> i just trim but i used to use gillette you know like these ones mac 3 uh what you call this shaving gel very nice that's some of the best companies for men's grooming also you guys know this gillette mac 3 pro and all this like it's one of my older shavers anyway so i have these still uh, so these are the things that I used to use. I used to have a fragrance called Gillette Wild Rain, the blue, sorry, the green one. They used to have a thing, if I'm not mistaken, three colors, red, blue, and green. The Wild Rain was fantastic. So today uh, is my first fragrance review on Gillette. Let's see how this one goes. So this one's going for 31, 32 dollars or pounds in Amazon, uh, but in Bangladesh, they are not that pricey, but I believe these are like 10, 15 dollars cologne, but since this discontinued so people for collectors they charge so this is how the box looks really really uh, simplistic box has this nice little pattern here kind of blue give you the feel it's going to be an aquatic oceanic fragrance with the g of gillette and back in the time gillette used to be a big brand gillette uh if there was a beak or bike i forgot bic and they had uh was other one um you know those few brands are uh, old spice and i think there are a few brands uh, they were very popular back in the time. You used to see them as sponsors everywhere. So simplistic box. I never seen anything like reviews on this house. So I thought I'd pick it up. I just picked it up for reviewing purpose, you know. Um, I don't know how much of it I'm going to be using. But, you know, uh, if let's say, you know, guy knows about a fragrance and they're looking for something, you know, they come across, you know, there's always something to uh, <laughs> learn or I guess share. So this is that bottle. Uh, this very, very simplistic bottle, but I think I like it. It reminds me of Michael Kors, some of the uh, bottles they also have in Marks & Spencer, Hugo Boss, older days bottle. It has that classy touch. Uh, I think it was 2015 or somewhere, I forgot which year it was. I put down the year. Uh, but uh, if I find it, I don't know when it was released. So it's very old fragrance basically. Okay, that's how the bottle looks. Simplistic bottle, light green color juice. And it says cool white side here, the name. And the cap will have Gillette logo. This one doesn't have the grip, very strong grip or click onto place. It's just simplistic. Side, it's a little bit got this design going on, okay? So, atomizer looks like I don't think anybody's gonna clone this. Sort of like a plastic, but sturdy cap. So, I'm wearing this on my hand just to reach the dry down, see how we get this atomizer and all that. Let's check it out. Good atomizer, you know? So, these are fun always. It's always fun to do a budget fragrance and you find surprise, you know? I wanna buy Nivea. Is a Nivea cologne. I want to buy that. Some people say it was not good. I don't really care. I'm looking for the blue one, you know, Nivea for men or something. So you give it a, uh, give it like a first sniff and it's really nice. It's like uplifting, musky, kind of spicy splash sort of, you know, it reminds you of good old days of 90s, Polo, uh, Polo Sport. And it definitely has that manly feel. It definitely is a sporty, aquatic sailing day, you know, on the boats. Uh, like by the lake you know if you i really want to go to canada someday i just off topic i always see the beautiful nature of canada and i think canadian people are some of the nicest people on earth most of them anyway uh, i have friend chad is from canada mark is from canada these are reviewers but in general a lot of people are from canada and i always see them posting beautiful picture of nature they always go out in the uh, open boating beautiful sun the mountains it's just 
lovely it's like heavenly uh, country so i wish i could be there someday do some reviews from there this fragrance reminds me of the, all that like outdoors in the natures uh back in the time like perhaps 90s oh man this is a uh, very uh, simplistic like some of the fragrance in hugo hugo boss hugo boss hugo boss back in the time it has reminiscence of those i uh, remind me sort of like uh, hugo boss uh not energized those other fragrances got discontinued um i had a I totally forgot the name that was one of the really nicer ones that got discontinued it reminds me of that one okay so the fragrance is definitely not like a i'm not gonna say like a hidden gem you really have to dig it like you know go to the marshall's tj maxx and find it you know like you need to have this in your life nothing like it but definitely good old times of weekend holidays easy going you know i take this bottle and it's not like 10 15 dollars you don't have much to lose but 30 32 dollars is a bit high for this I, but if you're a collector you can get but 100 ml not bad it has a sprayer also good good atomizer once again just check out this atomizer it shoots a lot of juice okay so i really like this opening it has a oh yeah it reminds me of ck escape as well that one had this kind of like a citrusy uh tropical fruity at the same time some peppery kick this one has that so it's a tropical kind of like a oceanic aquatic fresh blue spicy scent you know think of like a almost it could be used as a splash after the shaving everything done but i really like this it's really nice i will use this casually if you're going for gym perfect fragrance if you're just going from your house 15 minutes drive to your next mart a shopping mall this will last you about two hours on most part i don't think it's like it has very <laughs> be more longevity but for what you pay i don't think it's something to complain but you can live without it uh, but it's a nice little fragrance i didn't know gillette had fragrance so definitely check it out I'm not gonna rank it or anything it's a cheapie but if you find it somewhere give it a try if you find any fragrance from gillette give it a try this is called gillette edt cool white i'm pretty sure they have many other flankers so that's a summer uh, sort of a freshie so thank you for watching time to move on to the second review take care bye bye